no issues there. Okay. Hey. What? Oh. Hey. Ah, I think I hear it again. You may or may not have watched Squid Game. Many people have watched Squid Game. Very popular Korean show. I've watched it, I think, twice. I've seen interviews with the actors on American TV shows and noticed that some of them have pretty decent English, actually speaking in English. Others maybe not, not so much, using translators. And I find this interesting. Uh, actors going to different countries to promote their shows. We're going to look at uh, Ho Yun Chung's English and I'm going to just go through it as I would with a student. I'm going to say, okay, maybe this can improve. Maybe you could work on that. This is not a sort of final score of this person's English. I haven't had a conversation with her, so that would be the real thing I would do. We're going to look at some clips from different things she's been on. I found a compilation, and I think if they're in order, I think her English is getting better, and we'll talk about that as well. So let's go through it, and we will see what Ho Yun Chung could do to improve her English if she wanted to, okay? So here we go. We want color it. Color it. So okay, so let's stop right there. So she's saying they, they have the words on the screen, which is helpful, right? This is, I think, from a, a Korean show, but she's in another country, I guess, as part of that show, so she has to speak English. Um, so the pronunciation there of cornrow, the thing that I would work on there would be the, the R sound and then the end of the word. So it's hard to hear, right? Yeah. Yeah. She sounds like she's saying Kun lo, kun lo. So there would work on the R and L. A lot of, uh, especially in Asia, a lot of people have an issue flipping the L and the R sound. So I would say the corn part is right, pretty much, but then the low one could confuse people. Low, L O W, low? No, row, corn row. Ah, okay, so it's just because that R is right after the N, that makes it challenging. So it's just a matter of practicing it. Corn row, corn row, corn row. Just slowing it down a little bit uh, would be, I think, uh, a good way for her to practice that one. So how much? Uh, 100. 100 for one. Yeah. 100 dollar? Okay. Now this, this is one where you can understand what she's saying, right? But the pronunciation of it might, might confuse some people. There's too much of an ah sound. So whether you're in the United States, for example, or in England, it's going to be more or less like dollar or dollar or something like that. It's an ah sound. What I'm hearing there is da, da, da. It's too much like an ah, an open A. Ah, 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 ah. It's more like the O, the, the short O sound. Da, 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 dollar, dollar, dollar. No, no. Ah, uh, uh, rupia. Uh, rupia. rupia. We are four three hundred fifty. Can no can. Okay. Okay, that's one. Maybe a slight thing to work on there. Fifty, fifty, fifty. Was it? Is an added syllable in between fifty. There's a foot there that's not necessary. That makes it a three-syllable word. Fifty, and instead we want to make it a two-syllable word. That might make it more clear. Fifty. 50, 50, 50. In fact, most people will say it with a light D sound. 50, 50, or a D sound there. 50. <laughs> Already cheap price. Oh. Uh, we are four. 350. Can? No can. Okay. <laughs> Already cheap price. I'm not giving feedback to this lady in the green shirt, but I could. Instead of already cheap price, she could say, it's already a uh, cheap price. Okay. This is just a side point. We're not giving feedback to her. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. No, no, okay. Do you have any children here? <laughs> okay. This one definitely needs help. <laughs> she needs help here. Listen carefully. Do you have any children here? Okay. Do you have any? And then she says a Korean word that I don't know. But if you listen carefully, the V sound has been switched with 
the B sound, and then there's another syllable added. H-A-V-E is pronounced as a one-syllable word, have, have. To say it as a two-syllable word would be havu, havu, havu. So that's one issue that's, that's fairly common, but there's another thing going on here. The other thing going on here is that she's adding a B. So I'm hearing habu, habu. Do you habu any? Habu any. Now that could confuse people. That could make people not understand what she's saying. So there, change it to a one-syllable word and make sure the B is a V sound. Have, have. Do you have any? Do you habu any? Have any would be the way that I would correct that one. Okay, let's listen to that again. Cheap price. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, okay, okay, no, no, okay. Yeah, yeah. One way, one way. Okay, so Do you have any chicken here? <laughs> what? The best uh, way. The best way. The best way? Yeah. Yeah. No. no. Only in one way? One way. Only. Okay. One way! <laughs> no way! <laughs> yeah. You like me? <laughs> okay, small thing there. You likes me? You would, if you were going to make it a question, you'd want to say, do you, do you, right, as a question. But you like me? It's okay. Sometimes we can say it like that. But she says, likes me instead of like me. He likes, she likes, but then we like, I like, you like. So we'd want to make sure that one doesn't have the S after like. You like me? You like me? Yeah. One more, one more. Yeah. You like me? No. Okay, that one's that one's good. You like me? I would put more of a K though there. Like like me sounds a little too much like L I G H T. Light me. Like we know what it means because of the context, right? That there I would say a little bit more of a k there. You like me? You like me? <laughs> and he says no. You like me? No. <laughs> no sorry. <laughs> I'm a bad. Okay. There, again, watch the R sound. Sodi, sodi. There, the D is replacing the R. D instead of R, right? So that would be more of an R sound. She can do the R sound. She definitely can. I've heard it a couple times, but she needs to work on that. Uh, Saudi, sorry. Er, er, sorry. No, no thanks. Sorry. I'm a bad girl. Okay, she said there, that one's quick. I don't know if you caught that one. You are so sexy. Okay, she says, you are so sexy. To me, it sounds a little too much like an I. Sexy, sexy. The only difference there, I, eh, I, eh, I, eh, 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 The mouth is a little wider to make the short E sound. Eh, that's a small one. Again there, you catch that? TV, TB. Sounds like a B to me. So make sure the 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 V's are not B's. TV. Yes. So I I will ask you something. Yeah. yeah. And how do I look? You. Oh. No, 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 that's not. Oh. Yeah. 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 She's there. Okay. Hey. What? Oh. Hey. Good ah, I think I hear it again. Evening. It's a light B sounds instead of a B, instead of a V. It's it's very slight there, but I still hear it. Evening, evening. And when you say the B, it's easier to make that another another syllable. Evening. Actually, when people say evening, they usually make that just evening evening and so evening actually usually is a two syllable word if you say evening it's okay but when you make it a b e b it's much easier to add a syllable so that makes it three syllables e b ning e b ning eh. and that doesn't sound as natural right this is my first christmas in new york so i okay Pronunciation of New York there. I would I would encourage her to maybe make it a little more the R in York, York, York. You could do maybe British, a less strong R, but at least a little more 
O sound. O, a little bit more O, oh, O, oh, that open sound. It sounds a little bit like New Year. It sounds quite flat. In your New Year, New Year, Year. It sounds like Year. And I also don't hear the K. So there again, I would say, make a little, hit the K a little bit more. New York, New York. So I want to experience everything. Good, good R pronunciation there. Experience everything. That was perfect. And also, TH sound, everything. She's got the TH. Very good. Christmas in New Year is... Again, New Year. You hear the, so the flats on New Year. Yurt, yurt. I'm not again. I'm not trying to criticize her. Awesome. Speaking English, doing a a voiceover in English. Great. I'm just kind of giving feedback uh, because uh, I came across this video and I think it's it's an interesting tool for for feedback. Uh, that New York sound is doesn't have to be a strong R, right? The Brit British pronunciation or other pronunciations might not have the R, but the O oh, O oh, that open O sound is there regardless so if it's new year your your people might think she's saying and especially around the holiday season new year because the first time i watched this i thought she said new year this is my first time in the new year new year instead of new york okay Silky first word i could be a ah listen to that one christmas in new year is Silky first word ah different what different word there it sounds like she's saying W-O-R-D, word, word, word. But actually what she's missing there, it, it, this is a tough word. It's a tough word. It's world. So there's a L in front of the D, Earl, Earl. And you have to roll from the R to the L to the D. World, 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 world. You hear that? So that's tough. It's tough to do, but that's one to practice. World is a tough, a tough word to say. It's, you can count it as a two-syllable word. Christmas in New Year is the first word. I could be. Sounds too much like she's saying word, right? Better mode of than that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having us. Uh... Ah, ah, ah. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Having. I'm hearing the B again. That's the that might be the biggest one to work on. Would be switching the B and the the B and the V. Uh, when we are uh, at the school, there were like characters. One is the boy and one is the girl. Ah, uh, there maybe adding the L sound a little bit more might make it more clear. Girl, 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 girl. Just hitting the L, bringing the tongue up to the L position. Girl, girl would be, I think, good. The boy's name was Chersu, and the girl name? name was Younghee. Gur. Yeah, so I'm hearing gur like we would use gur, G-R-R, -R, sometimes spelled with three R's, as a sound. It's an onomatopoeia, gur, like a growling animal, right? We would say it like that. When you say girl, the, the earl sound is the same, but then you roll like world. It's the same thing as world. Whirl, girl, whirl, girl. You hear that rolling whirl, earl, earl, earl. Now with world, then it goes to the D sound. Girl, girl stops with the L sound. But it's the same basic mouth and tongue movement with that L at the end. It's definitely a challenge, difficult for a lot of people, but with practice, certainly possible. And the girl name was Younghee. There, also just a small point, I would say, the girl's name was girls. Make sure to have the S at the end. The girl name, she says the girl name, the girl's name. Tersu. And the girl name was Younghee. Whew. And she's the one. Let's get dressed. <laughs> now I'm ready to go. I have one more thing. Hey, uh, that was a good V. I didn't hear habu, right? That was have. That was good. Maybe she, she, I think she's getting better. I think she's been improving. Maybe she's been working with a teacher. I'm gonna do like... Gonna. Very nice use of gonna. Very natural. Gonna. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do... Bye, guys. 
Bye, guys. That's very American sounding. All right. Well, there we go. I think uh, I think she did a pretty good job. I mean, obviously, it's impressive when anybody can be on camera in not their native language, right? That's very cool. So, of course, a lot of a lot of credit to her for for trying to speak English and not being afraid. That's a great thing. These points are just little things that she might do, or if you have the same similar pronunciation issues, especially that you might do to just sharpen it up a little bit. Why? To avoid misunderstandings, to have that more natural, fluent sound. So I hope you found this to be interesting. If you haven't already done so, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. And also check out my full courses in the links in the description. Thank you.